In this video, I'm going to teach you how to build your first application just with AI. No programming experience necessary. It doesn't matter if you've never wrote a line of code in your life. By the end of this video, if you stick all the way through, you'll have your first app. And on top of that, you'll be able to program more apps by yourself. No help required. Let's get into it. Boom, I'm over here now. Let's get right into it. What I'm going to show you how to do today is build a to-do app through JavaScript, no coding experience necessary, really easy to do, and all you'll be doing is using AI. The AI is gonna teach you how to write the code, it's gonna teach you what the code means, and it's gonna give you the skills you need to then go and build other applications yourself. Again, beginners can do this, no coding experience necessary, and this will put you on a path where you can start building your own applications that you can then turn around and sell or have others use. So what we're looking at here is on the left is a site called Replit and on the right is AI. I'm using Grok 2.0, but you can use whatever you want. If you want to use ChatGPT or Claude, you can do that. Any of them work. Uh, I just like to use Grok. It's the newest model, Grok 2.0, the moment this video came out. So on the left-hand side is Replit. What Replit is is a place where you can put code and run it completely free on the internet. Uh, it's the best beginner-friendly way to write and run code. I like to use it completely free, easy to use. So what you're gonna do right now first is sign up for Replit, pause the video, links down below, completely free, create your account, come back and we'll start building code. Okay, welcome back, here we are, let's do it. So now that we're in Replit, we're gonna create a rep down here. It's gonna be in React JavaScript. Uh, React JavaScript is a programming language that a lot of big companies use today. It's one of the fastest ways to build and deploy applications. If you learn these skills here, you can very quickly turn around and build a lot of other different applications. Let's give it a name. We'll name it AI to do app and we will create it. Now our environment is set up on the left side to put in code. We get some basic code set up for us here. Uh, and then what we can do is if we go to console, we can then click run. And what's going to happen is it will run the code for us. And so what you can see here is your basic boilerplate React JavaScript code, all set up for you. As you edit code over here on the left, you'll get the results in real time on the right. This could be a little intimidating. Don't be intimidated. We're right at the beginning. What we're gonna do now is switch over to the AI over here, and we're gonna start using it to teach us how to code, teach us how to build this app, and get some really cool results really quick. So I'm in Grok. Again, you can use anything you want. If you wanna use ChatGPT, if you wanna use Claude, it's all up to you. They'll all be doing the same thing. I'm just using Grok for this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, hi, Grok. I always say hi to, to my AI as I'm building things out. You got, you got to have your manners. You got to have your manners. One day they'll be more powerful than us and can kill us. So you got to make sure you say hello and thank you and all that. Hi, Grok. Uh, I'm a brand new programmer. And I'd like to make, and by the way, this prompt will be down below in the description. Uh, if I'm you, I would actually type this out yourself, not just copy and paste it. Uh, a big thing here is, is you know, you, I want you to also learn how to prompt with me and use AI and get better results. So if you manually type this in yourself, you're going to learn prompting skills while you're doing this too. So follow along with me while I do this, and then you can pause and prompt yourself and, and change the prompt if you want. But here we go. Hi, Grok. I'm a brand new programmer, and I'd like to make a to-do list app using React. I've never programmed a line of code in my life before, so if you please can help me out here, but also teach me step by step what you're doing so I can then build other applications myself. Please make this app simple so that I can then customize it any way I want. So what we did here is we set the stage with the AI on what we're trying to do, what our background experience is. It's always important when you're prompting AI, especially if you're going to be building applications, uh, letting them know what the situation is, what your skill levels are, and not just to build it 
right? If they're just building it, you're not learning anything here. So what I'm doing is I'm explaining what my skill level is and what I'd like Rock to do, which is teach me along the way so that I not only just spit out a bunch of code that I don't know what is doing, but also I learn what it's doing so I can customize and build myself uh, and build my skills as well. And real quick, let's also make sure that we let Grok know we're using Replit. So the AIs know about all the websites and how they work. It's pretty amazing how they work, actually. So let's go in here and also make sure they know that I'm doing this completely on Replit. Awesome. Now we can run it. So what we'll get here is we'll get a guide from Grok on how to build this application from Replit, step by step, right? So it's going to tell us exactly what we need to do. Uh, we can skip most of this because I got this, most of this set up for you already. But let's go into the basic structure. So it's going to teach you about the basic structure of a React application. Again, React is a really awesome framework for JavaScript. Basically makes it very easy to quickly spit out applications, ship them, launch them, and get people using your apps. It's going to tell you about the code structure over here on the left, the different files, what they each do. I definitely recommend taking the time to go through this and learn about what each one of these do. Um, but what we're going to do here is we're going to go into the main part of the application, uh, which is app.jsx. This is the code you see here. So if I come into app here and I say... Uh, subscribe to Alex Finn, and then I save it. What you can see is, boom, immediately updates uh, what you see on the application in the web view. So pretty cool. So this app.jsx, this is going to be your main file. Where we're going to do all the code editing, as explained by Grok here. Um, so what I'm going to do is copy over this code. I'm going to drop it in here so you can get a taste of what the kind of basic app code does spit out from Grok. So this is the basic to-do list and we can do to-do item one and add it. And so what you can see is all the items you add your to-do list go under here. So this isn't obviously good enough. This gives us an application, but we don't know how the hell this works or what the hell it's doing. Since we're beginner programmers, we really want to understand line by line what's going on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here. It's going to give us some basic styling. It's going to tell us the exact App uh, file to put that in and put that in here, update it. Ooh, looks, makes it look a little prettier. And then now what it's going to do is start explaining. So let's do this. Let's say start with app.js. Please explain line by line how this works so I can truly understand the code I'm writing here. My goal is to become proficient in React so I can build other applications. And so what we're doing here is we're now having a conversation with the AI uh, to learn what it is it's having us do so we can learn how the code works so that after this we can a, customize this to-do list to our liking, and then B, build other applications. Maybe applications we build, ship, and start selling and making money off of. So let's hit enter on this. And now it's going to break down app.js, which is our main file here, which is building the main portion of the code. It's going to go line by line and tell us uh, how it's working. So as it generates the code here, what you can see is first it starts at the imports. So up here at the top, it explains what these import statements mean. Uh, it means it's, re it's importing a lot of the React technology that's basically saying this application is built in React, so it knows what type of programming language you're using, and then goes in and tells you line by line what it's building out, what different functions are, how state management works, event handlers. And this all sounds very complex, I know, as you're doing this. But what I really want you to be able to do is a, not only understand how you can use AI to build applications, but B, start to get a grip on how the code works and understand the powers you have and, and how you can start building applications even with no coding experience before. So what I want you to do now is quickly go through here. There's going to be a lot of very complex stuff. If you try to understand it all at once, you're going to become very intimidated uh, and it's going to be hard to learn all this. But what I want you to do is go through this Find one or two things you want to learn about, right? So maybe we go in here and we ask Grok, can you explain event handling to me as if 
this is my first JavaScript application. Right, so we're picking different things out we want to learn about. You know, I, I really recommend choosing one or two things at a time. Again, if you try to learn everything at once, this can get really complicated really quick. Choose one or two things. Read about what that concept means. And the more applications you build, the more you can pick out different things to learn and get better at coding. But let's do this. Let's go back in and let's start customizing our to-do list application here. So we have our application here. Maybe we want to start actually numbering each item in the to-do list as we put it out. So right now it says to-do item one. So maybe we want to get groceries. Got to learn how to spell groceries there. And we need to buy paper towels and go to the gym. So maybe we want to start customizing this and getting them numbered. So let's say, Grok, please make it so that each item in the to-do list automatically gets numbered in ascending order. Okay. So... Basically what we're doing now is we're using Grok as a pair programmer. We're finding different things we want to edit in the application. We're telling Grok what it is we want to do. And then Grok is giving us the new code. To automatically number each to-do item in ascending order in your React to-do list, we'll apply the following code. Okay, so it gives us the code. We can take this, copy it over. I have it copied over already. And now let's test it out. Uh, get groceries. Add, and as you can see, automatically numbered. Uh, play video games, win in Madden online. As you can see, everything is numbered. We asked the AI to edit the code for us, add new functionality. It spit out the code, and then on top of that, it then goes and tells us exactly what it did. So it goes inside the map function, and for every item in the to-do list, it pluses one, right? And so now you can go in, not only has it changed the code for us, but now it explains the code changes it made. This is really awesome, right? This is the power of AI. This is what AI unlocks, is the fact that anyone with zero programming experience can go in and not only build out fully functional applications like you see here, but now they can come in and also learn the coding along the way so they can come back, make any applications they want. Why is this so economically powerful? Because now anyone who has an idea can go and create that idea and make it a reality very fast and then start making money off it. Before AI, if you had ideas, you had to go hire a programmer, which could take months, and then work with the programmer. You might not even get the application you want. But because of AI, you can now by yourself go from idea to reality in under 15 minutes, right? It's unbelievably powerful what you have here. If you're not taking advantage of this, you're really gonna fall behind. The people who come up with ideas and are able to create them and sell them are gonna make a lot of money off this AI revolution. Let's do some other tinkerings here. Let's try some other things out, some other stylings, and show you some other ways you can use AI to build applications. Uh, let's also do this. Let's add a new field for each to-do item that lets me rank the priority. So now I'll be able to go in and give each to-do list item a ranking of difficulty so I know how to prioritize each one. So now I can come in, I can take this code, add it to the sections it has me doing here, and I have the brand new application, I can keep going back and forth, right? I can keep going back and forth with the app uh, and adding new features, new functionality. Any ideas I come up with, I can do it. Here's another powerful thing you can even do, and I love doing this when I'm building applications with AI, is you could actually ask the AI for advice. So maybe you have an application like the to-do list here, but you're not sure how to improve it. You don't have other ideas. You can bounce ideas off the AI to come up with new things to add. So let's do that. Hey, Grok, what other features and functionality would you add to this app to make it more useful? And now what you can see here is Grok actually gave us recommendations on how we can improve the application through categories, due dates, sorting and filtering, notifications and reminder, editing. 
this is pretty incredible. Not only is the AI our programmer, it's also our product manager, our marketer. It's taking on all these different roles for us, right? It's giving us recommendations on how to improve the product. So you can come here, it's basically like your free business partner where you give it ideas, it helps you build the ideas, it helps you improve the ideas, it'll help you ship the ideas, it'll help you make money off the ideas. This is the power of AI that not many people are taking advantage of. Most people are just going in AI and trying to make it say silly things, right? If you're not using AI to ideate, build and ship products, you're, you're losing out on potentially millions of dollars, right? A lot of people are using AI coming up with ideas and then shipping those ideas and making a lot of money off of it. And it's really easy to do. I did this all in what the span of 15 minutes. It was super easy. Now I can go, okay, let's do this. Uh, let's add edit functionality. Okay. Let's implement the editing functionality. And now Grok will give me all the code and ideas necessary I need to do that, right? Now it's generating the code. I can implement it and e keep iterating on this application. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty powerful. And you're able to do this really with zero programming experience required. With zero programming experience, you're able to build an app, improve it. And then now as next steps, I can go and say, okay, help me out and ship this application right? And then it'll tell us how to put it on the internet and get other users in it. And then I can say, okay, give me a marketing plan for this, for this application, right? Every step of the way, AI will be helping you out. So really powerful stuff. Two important things here is one, use AI to help you build the products, but equally as important, make sure you understand what you're building. Ask the AI to walk you through the code line by line and what's going on. So you're not only building the application, but you're also learning how it works. So that next time you do this, you can be a little bit better, a little bit faster and understand what's going on a little bit more. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications as well. I'm going to be building a ton of these videos. I'm going to be showing you how to build many different applications. If you never used AI before, if you've never built applications before, keep it tuned to this channel. I want to make it super easy to use AI and build really incredible things and make it so anyone can do it. No experience required. This was a lot of fun. I hope you had fun too. See you in the next video.